Welcome to Gregorian Map. We are asked to solve this problem. We have this uh, semicircle uh, and a uh, triangle uh, ADE inside this uh, semicircle and another triangle which is the blue triangle ACD with a base of 10 units and the side of that uh, triangle AC is congruent with given to be congruent with this uh, uh, segment on the right which is AB and it is also given that the uh, radius uh, from the center of the semicircle to point A is 13 units and we are required to find the area of this uh, triangle ADC okay so since we are interested in finding the area of this triangle ADC and the base of it the blue triangle is already given so we are uh, only uh, required to find this height so let's call this as height h and it should be perpendicular with the diameter of the semicircle so height h okay okay so this uh, height uh, divides this uh, radius of this uh, radius the segment de on the semicircle into parts so uh, we can actually uh, let this uh, length this length be uh, x and this length is uh, since this is the radius given to be 13 then this can be uh, 13 minus x and this length be or eb is uh, 13 units and uh, we can label this point as f this point at uh, the perpendicular uh, point between h and the radius de so we can label this as f okay so before uh, we can find the height so we just need to find first the uh, distance x okay so this distance fe or x and uh, since as you can see we have two uh, uh, right triangles this uh, a afc afc and uh, afb afb okay so we can label these two lengths that are uh, congruent ac and ab as a uh, small letter a okay small letter a so since they have the same uh, height uh, we can label this as uh, h square okay so for afc we have h square and for uh, afb we have h square also so this h square can be represented as the hypotenuse square so a square minus uh, this uh, the total length of cf so cf is actually uh, 10 plus 13 so 23 minus x so 23 minus x so a square minus uh, 23 minus x squared is equal to h square for a uh, triangle a of b so we have uh, a square uh, minus uh, x plus 13 so for f b x plus 13 squared okay so we can already cancel this a square in this negative okay so we have uh, 23 minus x squared that will be 529 minus 46 x plus x squared is equal to x squared plus 26x plus 26x plus 169 and putting this uh, 169 to the left so 529 minus 169 minus 169 is equal to uh, 72x 
72. We just need to add this uh, negative to, I mean, this would be 26 plus 46. This will become 72x. Because we can already cancel this uh, x squared. So this will give us 360 is equal to 72x. And if we divide both sides by 72, uh, x will have a value of uh, 5 units. Okay, so another uh, way to find for x is that we notice that this uh, triangle ABC is an isosceles triangle. So being an isosceles triangle and these two lengths CF and uh, FB should be congruent. So because this uh, uh, length H is the, actually a perpendicular bisector of CB because it is isosceles as given. So uh, being uh, CF is equal to FB. So CF is equal to CD plus DF. CD plus DF is equal to FB, which is uh, FE plus EB. Okay, so CD is 10 plus uh, 13 minus X is equal to X for FE and 13 plus for EB. Okay, so we can already cancel this uh, 13. Okay. And put this uh, x on the left hand side to be positive. So x plus x is equal to 10. So 2x is equal to 10. Therefore, giving us a uh, 5. Same as the answer for our first method for finding the value of x. Okay, so next is we need to focus on this triangle uh, AFE. So triangle AFE. So it is a right triangle with hypotenuse of uh, 13 units and along a shorter leg of uh, 5 units. So this x becomes uh, 5. So 5. So H is the only unknown, so we can uh, simply find this by Pythagorean theorem. So H is equal to the square root of uh, the hypotenuse uh, 13 square minus uh, X square, which is a uh, 5 square. So H is equal to the square root of 169 minus 25. Okay, so it's give, it gives us a square root of 144, so h is equal to 12 units. Okay, so now for the final step, so since we have now the height and the base as given, so the area of this, this triangle uh, ACD is equal to 1 half times the base times the height, so 1 half times the base of uh, 10 units and the height is uh, 12. So we can cancel this. 12 over 2 gives us 6. So this will be 6 times 10, 60 square units for the area of triangle ACD. And that is our answer. So thank you for watching until the end of the video. Please like the video if you like our solution and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you will be updated for more math videos like this. Thank you. Bye.